you a story about this bike of mine. This is called a Schwinn Orange County Chopper Stingray. It's a pretty unusual bike, no doubt about that. I found it, and that's a great story. I found it at the dump. I went back to the dump, I saw it the first time, and I thought, wow, that's, that's unbelievable. Check out that bike. It sort of reminded me of so many of the bikes that I, I grew up knowing. I tried to build one myself. My mate Jack, he had an awesome bike. And it was a custom style bike. This one, it's not custom. That's exactly the way it was built, just as you see it. It took many years to rebuild it, trying to find parts all over Australia, and in fact, all over the world. And eventually I was able to rebuild it back to its former glory. Now the Schwinn Bike Company, was founded by German-born engineer Ignaz Schwinn. Guten Tag. He founded the company in 1895 in Chicago. He made the big decision to emigrate to the United States of America to follow his passion for building quality, innovative bikes. Schwinn went on to become the dominant manufacturer of American bikes in the 20th century. And the Schwinn company lasted as a family company from 1895 through to 1992. It was taken over by a company that manages such bikes as Cannondale, Iron Horse and Mongoose. The Schwinn Bicycle Company was famous for being able to spot trends and quickly produce new models. In 1962, company executive Al Fritz That's me! saw a new trend in California where kids were modifying bikes and riding quite funny looking bikes. Kids were customizing their bikes to look like motorbikes. They were fitted with 20 inch wheels, elongated seats and rear sissy bars along with ape hanger handlebars. When Al Fritz noticed this Californian trend, I've got a cunning plan. He reacted quickly, making a prototype that was mostly laughed at by the manager. Stingray went on to become the biggest selling bike in Schwinn's history. Before long, the Stingray became synonymous with the suburban youth of 1960. Stingray, known as the push bike with the sports car look, revolutionized cycling since it was introduced in 1963. Little did Schwinn know that this wildly popular bike would just sell like wildfire and became Schwinn's biggest selling bike in history. Now about the start of the new millennium, a guy by the name of Frank Blankenship was mucking around drawing up designs for a new Stingray. He was the brains behind this particular bike. The retro looking bike that resembled a chopper motorbike had all the styles of a motorbike with a kickstand and the pedals that jut out. It had chrome fender, four and a half inch rear tires, a seat with rivets, CC bar and flame decals. It took about 400 hours for Frank to design this bike and put together a presentation for the Schwinn management, but took them four days to turn around and decide to run with it. This design was the first Stingray to be built by the Schwinn company in over 25 years. It also became the brand's 40th anniversary bike. Schwinn launched their Orange County Chopper in 2004. Now it quickly became clear that Schwinn had something special. Introducing the latest twin Stingray. It was to be that Harley Davidson and the Schwinn Bike Company were to collaborate to produce a new bike such as this one, but for some reason that didn't quite work out. So Schwinn went into collaboration with Orange County Chopper. Good to the Chopper. Orange County Chopper is from the show American Chopper, a reality show that starred the creative Orange County Choppers, Paul Tuttle Senior. Do you like my bike? And this collaboration went on to produce this very bike. But like all things, they must end. And in 2006, production stopped.
Before production was finished up in 2006, the Stingray was produced in numerous varieties that still exist today. There's an entire subculture out there that continues to find them, fix them, and even fabricate them into motor-driven beasts. As long as there are those out there who see these bikes as an amazing piece of push bike culture, this bike will remain an icon, and I feel proud to have been a part of Stingray history. <laughs>